On this episode of Trail Recon, we're taking a look at Not a Rubicon's 2012 Jeep Wrangler. Stay tuned. I'm pretty excited today, guys. This is our first episode of our rig walk around. And today we're out with Randy from notarubicon.com. Randy, come on over, buddy. Hey, thanks for letting us take a look at your Jeep today, man. No so uh, this is a 2012 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, what color we got here? This is uh, Orange Crush. Orange Crush, man, I love it. It's, uh, it definitely stands out, it's very cool. And talk to us about uh, the hood here. Now, what kind of vent is this? This is a Poison Spider uh, hood louver. I installed that myself, one of my favorite mods, because yeah. I did it all by myself. Uh, I was having some uh, overheating issues uh, because of the grill and the, the winch getting in the way, and okay. that uh, really opens it up and lets it breathe a little bit better. Okay, nice. I like the look of it, man. It looks uh, it looks really good. Uh, and now, what kind of engine mods have you done to it? Anything? No engine mods at all. St totally stock. Stock engine. I love it, man. A purist. Yeah. So, uh, but you got a couple of things under the hood that are worth uh, looking at, right? That's right. Okay, let's take a look. And what uh, what latches are these? Rugged ridge. Rugged ridge. Okay, cool. Bolt hood lock to keep people out that I don't okay. want in. Oh man, yours is much cleaner than mine for sure. <laughs> okay, so you've got uh, you've got the S pod, right? And you, do you have them all hooked up? Every single uh, switch? I've got one free switch. One free switch. I've got all mine hooked up, but I love it. That was actually the first mod that I did on my uh, on my Jeep. And then you've got uh, ARB's dual compressor, right? How do you like it? I love it. I've got uh, two uh, airlines plumbed, one right down in under the bumper here, so I can plug in there, and one out of the back, so I can plug in air up all around or air people up in front of me or behind me. Nice. And you're running your lockers off this as well? Nope. No. I've got one uh, rear locker only. Okay. And that's a uh, Eaton E-locker. Nice. Well, I love the dual. I, you know, I bought the single and I like it, but now that I got the bigger tires, man, I wish I would have got the dual, but nice. I got to clean my engine bay. Yours looks, uh, yours looks great. So, all right. So let's talk about what you got going out front here. So you've got a, an aluminum bumper. That's right. Lightweight aluminum. Yeah. I like, I think uh, I'm definitely going to go aluminum just because you save quite a bit of weight. Yep. Uh, what kind of winch we got? This is a Warren Xeon 10 S, uh, synthetic rope okay. winch, 10,000 nice. pound. And how many times has this been uh, put to use? You know, I just got it a few months ago. Okay. I've used it one time to pull somebody out of the mud. Pulled somebody else out. Right. Well, that's right. good. I haven't needed it. Okay, good. And uh, you've got, uh, looks like the factory 55 on there. Nice. And what lights do we got up here up front? These are uh, KC highlights. Nice, and you like them. Oh, I love these. Put out a lot of light, I oh, imagine. Yeah. That's some, yeah, it makes uh, it daylight. I like the round uh, look of the lights just because it blends better with the Jeep. Yeah, I, I it, really like that. It's old school. Yeah, 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 it is, but it looks good. Uh, it's new technology, really. Right. And what kind of headlights? You got the KC also headlights? Also KC LED he headlights. Right, so you got uh, the white light all around. Right. Cool, very nice. And uh, what is uh, what do we got going on here with the grill? That's a JWM uh, billet uh, grill. Uh, just makes it look nice. Yeah, I like I it. Love it. What about our front fascia here? This is the stock Jeep grill. I took off the Jeep emblems and uh, rattle canned it with some uh, with some uh, bed liner. Nice man, I like the I like the texture of it. That's very cool. Awesome. All right, so I love uh, the look of your Jeep, man. Uh, talk about the tires for a second because I, I have a personal interest with these tires. Yeah, these are the uh, Cooper Discovery Pro STTs. I know that you just got a pair yep. or a set. Uh, I've had these for just a couple of months. I love them so far. I replaced my uh, BF Goodrich yep. with these. Uh, they grip well. They look decent and they ride well on the highway. Yeah, well. no, I, I've uh, been totally impressed with them. But yours have definitely uh, got a lot more uh, wear on them than mine. Mine will hopefully be looking like that soon. And what kind of rims we got? These are uh, Pro Comp 7031s. Uh, as you can see, they've seen uh, seen a lot of rocks. Yeah, man, it's no mall crawler right here. Where yeah. uh, you use your rig, which I love. And talk to us about suspension. What we got going on? It's a uh, rock crawler, two and a half inch lift, uh, Curry uh, Anorak sway bar okay. suspension, and Fox 2.0 okay. shocks. And how do you like it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. That was everything I need. Awesome. Perfect. And fenders. So, uh, man, these are these are some mean looking fenders. I love the look of these. What do we got? Well, I got tired of tearing up my stock plastic <laughs> fenders, yeah. so I put on some flat fenders uh, that were plastic, tore those off. So I got these Smitty Built XRC solid steel fenders. Those don't move. Yeah, no. And they're in far enough that they really probably don't even get scratched right. much, right? Uh, no, they get scratched a little. Oh, do they get scratched <laughs> yeah, a little? Yeah, yeah. Good. And did you install these yourself? No, I did not. That's no. a big job. I, I had uh, my friends at JPI and Ukaipa do Yeah, that. I've heard that that's, uh, that's a lot of work. And uh, talk to us about rock rail. What do we got? Got a barricade uh, 
rock sliders, okay. uh, slider slash step. Yeah. Uh, they're a little big. Sometimes they hang up, but uh, they work great as a step as well. Yeah. So nice. I like the I like the bar look of them versus some of the other ones that are yeah. flatter. I like the look of those. And what about uh, lights up here? I know everybody likes to talk about LED lights. What do we got going on? Yeah. Quadradec uh, LED uh, round pods. Okay. Uh, these really, in addition to the spots in front just make it daylight yeah and, and you've got yours angled out a little bit i do the same thing because i don't need all that light going straight down there i like to see a little bit on the right. side and i like to see uh, when folks do that uh, yeah. cool awesome okay so now standing on the back here let's talk a little bit about uh what we got here is this a aluminum bumper or steel bumper this is a steel bumper steel bumper so it's good and hardy back here right and what do we got for a uh, tire carrier uh teraflex uh heavy duty hinge and ca tire carrier okay you know i didn't upgrade my tire carrier but folks have been telling me man now you put all that weight on there you really need to do that so i think that's a very close future upgrade yep. and now i i heard you coming up here you've got a uh Modified exhaust, what are you running? That's a uh, Magnaflow uh, cat back, okay. uh, nice and small, tucked up underneath, doesn't get in the way, doesn't get hung up on any of the rocks. And it sounds and it good, sounds man. Good. I, was, uh, I was listening sounds to it good. all the way up here. I was like, that's cool. And then now you have lockers in the rear. Rear locker only, right? That's okay. an Eaton E locker. Eaton E locker. And you modified your gears? Right. What gears are you running? 488 gears, which with a stick shift like mine yep. is really important. Yeah, it's yeah. It's a huge difference. That along with the four to one transfer case makes a huge difference with the stick shift. It's yeah. not easy, you guys, with the automatics. We don't have it as easy. Yeah, you're a purist, man, with that manual. I respect right. anybody that's out wheeling with the manual. So cool. Well, I know that, uh, you know, since putting the bigger tires on there, uh, I have 410 gears, but I know that I'm going to have to go up to some bigger gears here pretty soon. So uh, 488 might be uh, might be on the to-do list. Can we take a look inside and see what you got up for storage? Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got all kinds of good gear in here. So what do we what do we got? Just got some tool carriers. Uh, keep all my uh, essential uh, recovery gear and basic tools okay. in there. Got uh, power pack for charging up my drone batteries and camera batteries and Nintendo 3DS. Uh, <laughs> of course, I got my drone here. Got uh, some chairs to sit on. Uh, air hoses for airing up and uh, bungee cords, fire extinguisher. Eh, everything you need on the trail. Nice. And I can see your, your air inlet is right here, huh? Right. That's nice. Okay. Cool. Just a quick look at the interior and you can see here he's got his cloth seats and he's got about 60,000 miles on this Jeep so far. For comms, he's got a Midland CB, he's got an upgraded Pioneer stereo system and he's running a Garmin for navigation. Inside his center console he's got some healthcare items but you know what, he's got some gloves and he's ready for action if he needs them. All right, Randy, so uh, great looking Jeep, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you five questions. I'm going to ask everybody these same five questions. So tell me, what, uh, what's the favorite mod that you've done on your Jeep? I think my favorite mod is probably this uh, Poison Spider hood louver. Um, one, because it made a huge difference in uh, keeping the engine cooler, uh, and two, because I did it myself. I, I'm not real great with the tools, uh, but I was able to get this in with minimal damage, and uh, and it made a big difference. Nice. So that's one of my favorites. It's just good satisfaction doing it yourself right. sometimes, but it's sometimes you got to let the professionals do it. So yeah. cool. Um, what's the next mod you're going to be doing? Well, there's no more mods. This Jeep is done. You're done. Man, there's not too many people that own a Jeep that could say they're done, but you're content. I am happy with the way it is. Unless something breaks. Now, if well, I break something, I'll have to upgrade it. Well, you yeah. know what? I think uh, I think you've got a great looking rig. I don't think you need to do anything else. So, Okay, tell us, um, what's the most scariest situation you've been in uh, on this? Uh, you know, I was in Moab earlier this year, and if you've ever been to Moab, there's a couple of steep hills. Uh, I was uh, halfway up a hill that I was kind of afraid to go up anyway and uh, had to stop to take a look and reassess and catch my breath. And as I started to go back up the hill, again, being a manual transmission with stick shift transmission, I was uh, a little shaken up. I thought it was in gear, it was not in gear. It took the foot off my brake and started rolling backwards and revving the engine and nothing wasn't going. Ooh, ooh. Uh, that was a bit, that was a bit scary. Big, big pucker factor, yeah, right? Quite yeah, a bit. Okay, yeah. uh, favorite adventure that you've been on in your Jeep so far? Uh, you know, I love all my adventures. Uh, every time we go out, we go out with uh, good friends, good groups, and uh, you know what? They're all my favorite. Yeah, I, I, it's tough to pick one, but I will say I agree with you. When you're with a good group of people, man, that just makes every adventure yeah. uh, that much better. Okay, and last question for you, buddy. Uh, what trail is on your bucket list? Well, you know, I haven't been to the Rubicon yet, uh -huh. so I think uh, that's... That's the big one on the on the list. So we're going to take the not a Rubicon to the Rubicon Trail. Right. I like it, man. That's awesome. Well, uh, Randy, thanks for uh, letting us take a look at your rig, man. I appreciate it. Thank hey, you. guys, uh, we're getting ready to go uh, trek out here in Joshua Tree and have a great adventure. And we're going to post that video on not a Rubicon's YouTube channel. So head over there and check that out. And until next time, guys, we'll see you out on the trail.
Hey, you can check out the description for a list of everything that we talked about on Not a Rubicon's Jeep today. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along for the ride.